Give her all help with like rig building. So, welcome to Houston Kepler here at the NEM Show 2019. We're going to have a black today. We changed schedules a little bit, and um, the last days I talked a lot about features, but you already know all, uh, all the features. <laughs> and uh, we have this great video. Uh, and although I know that many of you have already seen it, uh, we have this great screen here, we have this proper PA system here, so we can have this like Hollywood blockbuster PA and screen setup that the video deserves. So I simply will play it before we start. Have fun with the video.
A big applause to our marketing team for this great video. <laughs> and it has been real fun uh, producing this video. And just to mention uh, on the last scene, um, it was uh, John Brown of Man Monuments and he asked for a monumental stage set up. So we gave him four four by 12 cabinets and it's, it's not fake what you've seen, it's real. So the M can really drive four, four by 12 cabinets and that's earth shaking loud. You simply can't describe it. You get instant goosebump adrenaline. So uh, yeah, if you want to wake up your, your neighbors, use this setup. Great video with the amplifiers, and I'm very happy that we have some of them here on stage today. So, welcome on stage, Jay Lena Jay. So we have the playback tracks and we have the original presets we used for this video, uploaded into the amp here. And uh, yeah, the preset is called Jumping the Shark. Well, uh, if for all of you that don't know, they actually took us all out to Germany. We all flew up. It was four of us. And uh, we got the inside scoop. We got to see the amp. But actually, in all honesty, we didn't really spend any time with the amp whatsoever. There was so much going on. So much the filming, the recording. We didn't spend any time. And, you know, you look at an amp like this and there's like a thousand knobs on it. Well, you know, it doesn't look like it, but there's like second menus and stuff. And I was a little scared when we had to go in and start programming it, but I was actually surprised by how easy it was to get really, really good sounds really, really quickly. We didn't have very much time to get the sounds, but it was just amazing how quickly it all came together. It sounded fantastic. So I came up with a, a little preset, Jumping the Shark, for uh, the little video, the country thing. But the idea was I wanted just a sound that would sound good for most of your clean stuff, you know. Um, uh, so you can get something rhythmic, you could get something funky, you could get something country-ish as well without having to do too much. So I have, um, let's see here, I'll just give this to you here. especially if you don't have, you know, say you can't go through that big 412 cab and you want to get a little bit of that energy of a 412 cab, just put a little bit of like touch of really quick delay in the back. It just gives you a little bit more body that makes you tell me, ooh, that sounds a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. And it helps uh, a little bit. You won't even notice it, but once you turn it off, you go, oh, where did that go? So, that's how we got the sound, and I think it sounds pretty good. Yeah. Let's see how it sounds in the mix here on stage, live. Dirty head. A dirty head. Now, the same principle, I put a little bit of that uh, delay in there. A little bit less reverb and a little bit of the noise gate there just to make my... I play a lot of single coils and that kind of gets in the way a lot. It's actually not that dirty. beginning. So if you don't make people hear the very beginning, no one's going to hear the guitar. Whatsoever. Let's press the play button. Thanks so much for having us. 
Okay, so thank you very much. Um, a little bit about the features. Uh, you see, we have four channels. We have clean, crunch, lead, ultra. So it's almost all your tones, all your tonal dreams. Right, Jay? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm to it away that they make noise. That's no worries, no worries. No, all your tonal, tonal dreams from the four channels. And just to mention, we have a channel table boost. You only see one boost knob, but be behind um, the boost knob are four different circuits. That means that depending on the channel you select, uh, you will get a different boost. Okay, so we have somebody else here on stage. Nice. Who's that? <laughs> Jack Flickler. So you did a little bit more work than only playing the tracks, so uh, the whole thing around it, uh, I mean, without your help, simply the video, video wouldn't have been that great how it is, so tell us what you did else. Yeah, well, I mean, okay, so, so yeah, for, like, for this tone, I definitely, like, I feel like you don't want to have like too much gain, so it's, like, it's, it's kind of funny because it's like, you would expect like someone like me who does like metal stuff to be all over like the super high gain channels. And I do have some high gain stuff, but for a tone like this, I'm calling it the lead tone. I actually really like wanted it to be as clean as possible. And like with, with my particular setup, like I like to rock like pretty high output pickups. So I, I'm, there's a lot going into the amp already. So I really wanted to like ride on this crunch channel. And like we also got the boost engaged, so that's cool. But um, yeah, for this tone, it's just all about like cutting through a mix and just trying to like really just have your tone be heard. Cause like my whole thing is like, I just want people to hear me. You know what I mean? Cause like, especially in metal, it's like you can get lost in the mix so easily if you're like cranking that gain knob or you're on like the super high, high gain channel and stuff like that. Or you have like, you know, 800 overdrive pedals on the floor. Like, like you know, you, you just want to keep it like super simple. And I find that like, you know, on even like on my, uh, my Triumph and stuff, which I also love, like I like to really just like play on like the lower gain kind of tones and just let my guitar be heard you know so this is kind of like what that what that tone is all about um we got some delay you know like for for you know those like melodic passages um you know noise gate yeah 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 you know um we got the mids turned up because you know i find that having more mid-range is cool for like you know having your melodies and stuff for doing a rhythm tone you know it's another story there but um yeah, I don't know. We got the gain knob turned up really high because, you know, it's a lower gain channel, so we're going gonna to do that. So, let's hear how it sounds. Switch the preset to the Chucky Boy. Yeah, what, what's about the Chucky Boy? So, okay, so yeah, like like uh, like Jay was saying, you know, we were all hanging out in Germany and we were having a great time, and um, I was given the task of creating the most brutal metal tone that we could come up with. Um, so this tone is just absurdly heavy, and this is like when you just want to like just absolutely crush people's faces, you know. I wouldn't say this is like the most you know, clean or like, you know, clear tone, but this is just like the, the FU like tone, you know, like, sorry, you know, sorry for using harsh letters, but um, this is just like the brutal tone, you know? Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, as you can see, we got some different stuff going on here. Obviously the noise gate is cranked because um, we're going to need that for all this, you know, all this gain. Um, 
We got the preamp EQ, we got high trebles, um, super low mids, of course, you know, because we're doing super brutal stuff here, so we just want to be like crushing, you know. Um, that's actually five, five more mids than I wanted, but you know, we had to. We had, there's a lot of a lot of legal discussions there about how much mids we need to have. Um, and uh, actually, the bass isn't super hot, but I feel like I did that because it's just way too much gain, and you know, you just you know, we have to trade. We need to make decisions about that, you know. Um, yeah, we got the gain. Um, yeah, we got the boost engaged, and yeah, let's see how it sounds. Also, oh, sorry, like we'll do the we'll talk about the sagging too, because like. The sagging is all about like the power amp like compression sound like it's, it's obviously just like the idea is that you can dial in like how you want your amp to react to your playing so I feel like with this tone you want it to be a little bit lower so you get that headroom you get that tight like you know like almost like I, I feel like Pantera kind of style like you know Dimebag really liked his like super tight kind of like rhythm playing so we got that we got the sagging control low so yeah let's see how it sounds Let's see how it fits on the mix of the playback track. Thank you.